Good evening and welcome to our time of prayer. Uh, it's lovely to be here with you. It's lovely to be here with everybody in church. Just doing a little bit of tidying up after doing our food parcels this night. Um, but let's just take a moment uh, to be quiet, to rest in God's presence and just be ready for this time of prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your Spirit come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise forever and ever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 9. You, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvellous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will make music to your name, O Most High. When my enemies are driven back, they stumble and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on your throne giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemy has utterly laid waste. You uprooted their cities. Their very memory has perished. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has made fast his throne for judgment. For he shall rule the world with righteousness and govern the peoples with equity. When will the Lord be a refuge for the oppressed? Sorry, then will the Lord be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in the time of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwell in Zion. Declare among the peoples the things he has done. The avenger of blood has remembered them. He did not forget the cry of the oppressed. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider the trouble I suffer from those who hate me. You that lift me from the gate of death, that I may tell all your praises in the gates of the city, Zion, and rejoice in your salvation. The nation shall sink into the pit of their making, and in the snare which they set will their own foot be taken. The Lord makes himself known by his acts of justice. The wicked are snared in the works of their own hands. They shall return to the land of darkness, all the nations that forgot God. For the need shall not always be forgotten, and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, and let not mortals have the upper hand. Let the nations be judged before your face. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but mortal. You, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Remember, Lord, all who cry to you from death's dark gates. Do not forget those whom the world forgets, but raise your faithful ones to Zion's great gate, with, all your, with your all-conquering Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading is taken from Mark chapter 10, verses 1 to 16. From there he went to the area of Judea, across the Jordan. A crowd of people, as was so often the case, went along, and he, as he often did, taught them. Pharisees came up, intended to give him a hard time. They asked, is it legal for a man to divorce his wife? 
Jesus said, what did Moses command? They answered, Moses gave permission to fill out a certificate of dismissal and divorce her. Jesus said, Moses wrote this command only as a concession to your, hard, your hard-hearted ways. In the original creation, God made male and female to be together. Because of this, a man leaves father and mother, and in marriage he becomes one flesh with a woman, no longer two individuals, but forming a new unity. Because God created this organic union of the two sexes, no one should desecrate his, his art by cutting them apart. When they were back home, the disciples brought it up again. Jesus gave it st- them straight. A man who divorces his wife so he can marry someone else commits adult- adultery against her. And a woman who divorces her husband so she can marry somebody else commits adultery. The people brought children to Jesus, hoping he might touch them. The disciples shooed them off, but Jesus was irate and let them know it. Don't push these children away. Don't ever get between them and me. These children are at the very center of life in the kingdom. Mark this. Unless you accept God's kingdom in the simplicity of a child, you'll never get in. Then, gathering the children up in his arms, he laid his hands of blessing on them. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that we can accept your gift of grace like children. That we don't overcomplicate your love. That we don't try and overthink and work it out. That we can just accept this gift that you give us freely. Help us, Lord, to seek you in all that we do. To accept your word like a child accepts it from a loving parent. Help us, Lord, as your children. Guide us as your children. Lord, in your mercy... Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who are struggling at the moment because of losing their jobs or their businesses, lack of hours, or because of the craziness of this pandemic, Lord. We pray for them and ask that they can find security somehow. I pray that they can find financial security, but also security in you. That you bring peace to them, Lord a way of moving forward, that they can contact friends or agencies, family, that they're supported and not isolated and alone. Lord, help them find the right people. Help them find employment. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we take a moment to lift all our own prayers to you. In the quietness of our hearts or in the quietness of our head, we lift them now. Holy God, who brought Cyprian to faith in Christ, made him bishop in the church and crowned his witness with a martyr's death, grant that after his example we may love the church and her teachings. Find your forgiveness within her fellowship and so come to share the heavenly banquet you have prepared for us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me this evening. Um, please join us tomorrow morning for morning prayer. Alan will be leading. Um, I pray you have a great night uh, and a restful evening. God bless. Bye there.